in the photo, as you can see here, Harris is wearing an earphone that isn't attached to the iPhone in front of her. Um, when Trump blasted at her on X, he wrote, another fake and staged photo from someone who has no clue what she's doing. You have to plug the cord into the phone for it to work. Um, <laughs> Rodman, that's quite funny from Trump and, and funnier than his other insult at Kamala this week, week where he basically said she was mentally impaired. That was probably too unkind. Well, firstly, I think the fact that this photograph was taken inside an aeroplane, it reminded me very much of the photograph that was taken of George W. Bush when he flew over uh, the results of Katrina down in New Orleans and was shown to be totally and utterly out of touch because it was the photograph that was released that was meant to make him look compassionate and showed him to be disengaged. Mm. And I got exactly the same reaction when I looked at that photograph. Mm. And I think that Trump was perfectly entitled uh, to point out that this is a fake photograph. It's a fake message being put across. She didn't go down... She says she's not going down there because she doesn't want to, imp, imp, uh, to impede first responders. Yes. George W. Bush used exactly the same reason for not going in earlier in 2015. You'd think, with her handlers trying to manage her within an inch of her life, they just might have remembered that, don't you think? Well, yeah, you would you would say so, especially seeing as they're reportedly Barack Obama's advisers that have come in, so they do have some experience. But, Caleb, I want to make the broader point here that um, I think Donald Trump's in trouble. I think he still hasn't adapted his campaign to face Kamala Harris. He doesn't know how to handle her and he's resorting to personal taxes all over the place. There's no central campaign strategy. Yeah, yeah, it certainly flipped the script when, when Kamala came along as opposed to Biden. I mean, you know, hitting Biden over the head was the easiest job you could possibly have and the attacks haven't worked to this point. But... That's who Trump is. That's how he campaigns, right? Um, so that's not going to change overnight. What really matters is, is less what's he saying about Kamala and her mental impairment. I mean, look, she wasn't mentally competent enough to realise that the phone was not plugged into the <laughs> headphones in the photo. So we may have a point there. It, it will She's come not down. Mentally impaired. It will, will, will. She might. She be... may not be a genius. No, I think that that is impaired. that is that is correct. Maybe that headphone is actually plugged into another device with the people telling her what to actually say. Maybe it was plugged, plugged into, into an iPad Biden's handlers. But, but as to the broader point of, of Trump being in trouble, he is in trouble to a degree. But forget about the national polls. It's all about oh, those swing yes. states, right? Yes. And the polling is all over the shop when it comes to those swing states. He's still very much in the race. He's just not as much in the race as he was when, I, when Trump was there. I more mean his campaign is in trouble. He doesn't know how to fight her, Bronwyn. I don't agree with that. He's just being what he is, Trump, and getting out there and fighting on his issues. And I think it, it, it's a curious way that the people who've been close to him and become commentators on him all say, oh, he's making a mistake, oh, he's doing this, in doing the work for the Democrats in a way. Yeah. So I, th I think that's quite pointless. He is being what he is. He's saying, I'm a businessman, I can run the place, I'll get you out of trouble. The country was in much better position when I was president before. Now, come with me again. And please turn out, and please turn up mm. to start policing that the voting procedures are, in fact, mm. proper. All right. And this Look, stuff keeps I... him in the headlines.